Hey friends, I have a word of encouragement for you today from Proverbs chapter 30. We're, we're coming toward the very end of Proverbs, but Proverbs 30 verses 2 through 6. You know, every now and then it's good to be right-sized, right? To remember our place, right? That he is God and I'm not, right? So, uh, you know, that can be comforting too, right? Uh, the, 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 the world is not dependent on you and me getting it right. Thank God, right? He not only has the authority, but he has the responsibility, right? Sometimes we're angry that he doesn't run the world the way we like. But I mean, if, do you really want to be in charge of the world? You know, and responsible for everything that happens? You know, only God has shoulders broad enough for that. But but to be reminded of that fact every now and then is good for us. Proverbs chapter 30, verses 2 through 6, uh, the, the writer says this, I am the most ignorant of men. I don't have a man's understanding. I've not learned wisdom, nor have I knowledge of the Holy One. I mean, in the grand scope of things, right? Who has gone up to heaven and come down? Who's gathered up the wind in the hollow of his hands? who's wrapped up the waters in his cloak, who's established all the ends of the earth. What is his name and the name of his son? Tell me if you know. It goes on to say, every word of God is flawless. He's a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words or he'll rebuke you and prove you a liar. So, you know, in these first introductory verses to Proverbs chapter 30, the, the writer is reflecting on, you know, okay, there's one God and it's not me. I mean, I, I don't know how this works. I, I don't know how, how the world functions. Only God knows. Who, who, who's wise enough to understand God, to second guess him, to question his dealings with man? So what am I but a poor, ignorant mortal? You know, we need to remember that God really is good and he really loves us and, and we can trust him. And, you know, we need to remember that he's God and we're not. He loves us dearly. He loves you dearly. We need to trust him. Take, take all your anxieties, all your cares and concerns to him because he cares for you. He really does. But, but remember that and remember that he's God and you're not. I hope that encourages you today.